differences. These are all uniforms. Equipment. Equipment. Antique type stuff. Oh, that's equipment that can go there. So I want to get the right mix. So first we'll get we'll put the equipment in. Vietnam War equipment. British World War Two equipment. Vietnam War. This is stuff I really don't need. German belts, all sorts of mostly Vietnam War equipment and World War Two equipment. So we'll throw all that in. I'll repack it again later. I've actually and what you do is you write a list of everything you put in there, so and number the box. So when you get it over there, so that's quite a lot in there. But it'll compact a little bit more. That feels like it's about five kilos at the moment. So then we look at what else we've got. American belt. Another piece of equipment. A little ball for play thing for the kids. Uh, and I think we'll go uniforms next. World War II, World War II American shirt. Australian Navy jacket mint. This is a paratrooper shirt for South Korea, Vietnam War. We've got some Australian World War II and British World War II shorts. I'll leave those for now. World War II American shirt. Then we've got a SAS uniform. Trousers, large size, Mr. K. Might be able to separate those for you if you want them. SAS shirt. 101st Airborne Division camo uniform for a captain. Very nice. That's from, that's the uh, woodland pattern. There's the jacket for it. And there's the, there's a Vietnam War uh, captain's jacket. How's that feel? Oh, that's still quite lightweight. That's about 10 kilos there. Eh? So what I'll do is I'll try and compact it down a little bit more and put some of the antiques in. So that's a good box there. Eh?